Hi, my name is Lily, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be answering questions. I asked Instagram, my friends, my family to ask me anything. So, me and my friend Jalisha here. Hello, hello. We are going to be answering a bunch of random questions. She is going to be also answering the questions because for some of the questions, I just can't give you good answers. So, <laughs> let's get started. Our first question is, what's your morning routine like? Okay, so me, I wake up in this bed right here that we're sitting on. I roll around, you know, I try to give myself some momentum to get up. Get up, pick out some clothes, brush my teeth, put deodorant on. I'm a night shower, so, and I'm not a double shower. My skin's too dry for that, so, Yeah. <laughs> breakfast <laughs> yeah breakfast is optional it depends on the day um and the amount of time i've given myself i put a little makeup on my vibe i put my little outfit on and i go to work um what is your morning routine like it's been changing recently but for the past three or so weeks it started bright and early at five o'clock i'm currently a morning shower I go back and forth, but right now morning showers have just been energizing me since I wake up so early. Um, but I wake up so early because I work at seven, but we do a six a.m. prayer service with my church in the mornings for the past three or so weeks. I really have to pick up an outfit or do anything fancy because I wear scrubs and I work kind of in a hospital, so I don't worry about any of that. No makeup. I don't have time. Maybe I'll start eating breakfast again. I don't know. I've been kind of liking the like intermittent fasting vibe. Okay, so question two. How do you balance work and personal life? I personally am honest and I tell them I have another life. I work a job where that is their life. Science is their life. And I love that. I love the dedication. Um, but I like to have fun. Um, my thing is I leave work at work. I don't currently have a job where you could really bring work home. I mean, you could think about work. So, like, I try to, like, my work brain cuts off the second I hit the threshold of my job's building. <laughs> like, the second I hit the parking lot, work is not on my mind. I'm prioritizing, like, the personal life side of things. So, like, making time to do things mm -hmm. outside of your work week. Yeah. It's okay. Like, I don't have to go to bed at a certain time. I'm very particular about my bedtime, but I'm trying to be more like, oh, I can go do this fun thing, and it's okay that I won't go to sleep right at 9 o'clock, even though that is what I love to do. Making time for both things, I think, is really important. Being intentional, um, honest, and um, I'm looking for a third thing. I feel like you always have to have, like, three. We're going to have two. Okay. <laughs> so next question. <laughs> question three. Share your top health and fitness tips. Stop going to McDonald's. Oh. <laughs> Lesson I've learned. How to be friends with your exes. There are other people in the world. You don't need to talk to them ever again. Should. everything in moderation she's she's personal trainer she's physical therapist she's i'm not you? a physical therapist <laughs> yet so, look into other alternatives like healthy alternatives like maybe my cholesterol is not great or maybe mm. i'm trying to shave down a few pounds or whatever the case may be they have other stuff at chick-fil-a they have salads they have grilled chicken you don't have to get french fries french fries are like 400 calories but like Aside from the calorie Don't let her part, get on her soapbox. No. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from the calorie part, like, it's just, it's not a very, like, just nutritious food in general. And the thing that I like to do, even though, mind you, I'm a hypocrite. I eat like crap, but I know better. <laughs> the point being, you have to realize that whatever you put into your body is how your body is going to respond. So if you keep feeling like crap because you're eating like crap, then maybe you should try eating something else. Mm, you are what you eat. I hate that <laughs> it is 
true though. It is. Why do you hate the saying? Like, what's wrong with it? Like, like isn't it like that's what because you said? People, basically, people take it too far. <laughs> like, I feel like back in the day, my mom would be like. You keep eating all those donuts, you're going to turn into a donut. And I'd be like, no, I'm not. I think you're just triggered. No, because it would literally be like, this is real life, mom. Like, this is not a cartoon. I'm not going to turn into a freaking donut. <laughs> Same thing. Like, you are what you eat. So yeah. like, whatever you put into your mind, whatever you put into your heart is what's going to be produced out of you. Mental health is a real thing. Spiritual health, all those things. Like, move your body stretch like why don't you go touch some grass four how are you working to i have a mic on oh right <laughs> i just love i love it. <laughs> okay go ahead she wants to do an interview so bad <laughs> uh number four how are you working towards your goals every day while still having fun mm. my sister asked this one this is a good one. Yeah. But I'm going to PT school in August. And so for me, like my next thing for working toward that goal would just be like applying for scholarships and things that'll help me get through PT school now that I've already been accepted. As far as other goals, my biggest goal for this year is like getting closer to God. So I'm like reading my Bible every morning and spending time in prayer. So that's how I'm working toward my goal on a day-to-day basis. This was a really hard question for me. I had to think about this one. Um, I feel like I still don't really have an answer because I don't feel like I'm having fun when I'm working towards my goals. And that's okay because sometimes it's not fun to get through the gritty part to get to where you want to be. And that's okay. Time management, I feel like it's huge. Like you can still have fun while like being stressed. Like, building, like, in stress relief. Um, and I think, like, just knowing what your priorities are. Yeah. I just realized there was a second part to that question. What, the while still having fun <laughs> part? <laughs> the school part is never going to be fun unless you like school. Like, the best way to have fun while you're trying to reach your goals is just to, like, not let it, like, have power over you like not let it be your everything like don't become a slave to your goal mm. if that makes sense so like no matter how bad you want whatever the thing is like never let that change who you are never let that you know start to affect you mentally emotionally physically yeah. all that good stuff like because there are more things in life than your one goal have multiple goals have multiple things you're working on not too many you know, you can do a couple of things at once. Focus on just the one thing. Like, you're going to go crazy. Like, just just do what you like to do and things will come. Just try not to make your life miserable. If a goal that you thought you wanted is no longer serving you, mm. it can die. You can let it die. Let it, no, die. let it die. Let it die. Let it shrivel up and come on. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> this was the message at church last night. So it was like, some things need to die. <laughs> some things just have to die. And it could be that it needs to die because it just needs to go. Or it could be it needs to die so that when it's brought back to life, there's like a new, like, fresh desire yeah, of passion. Fresh, like, yeah a fire's been ignited so like if something has become not fun for you maybe you have to like set it down for a while yeah and then you know if that's really something that is for you like when you come back to it it'll be that much greater so yeah if you love it set it free yeah i like that any favorite books movies or tv shows at the moment huh. i'm binging love at first sight season 15 i think Whatever the season is with Chris and Alyssa, I'm like, I'm eating it up. Oh my <laughs> eating it up. Um, I'm reading Hood Feminism right now. I'm not even that far in, and I'm like, whoa. Movies. I saw Mean Girls last night with Anaya. It's Horrible it's movie. His favorite, Lily. <laughs> yeah, oh, right. Favorite movie? I don't know. White Chicks. It aged poorly. But <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Uh, yeah. 
I guess recent books, like within the last few months that I've read, my favorite was It Ends With Us. That was a good one. They're coming out with a movie for that, and I'm actually really excited to watch that. My favorite movie is always going to be Colombiana. Great movie. Um, just go watch it. I'm not even going to go into it. You just have to watch it. It is a good movie. She made me watch it. I make everyone watch it. Yeah, she does. <laughs> And then TV shows. I don't watch a lot of TV. Favorite would have been Grey's Anatomy, but I gave up. Okay, I want to say my favorite TV shows in like the different categories. Love Parks and Rec. I love Insecure. I'm literally Issa Rae, I feel like. Um, Fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair statement. And um, Ozark. Ozark was like, top tier show if you haven't seen it go see it question six describe your ideal weekend getaway aruba okay. on the beach oh, wow. She's vibing ready. chilling pina colada in hand so oh, you lost me you don't like pina coladas mm, sometimes i love a good rum drink mojito pina colada whatever sunshine and waves Maybe a friend or two. Somewhere like islandy. It really could be whatever. You know, I always say that my dream vacation spot is Bora Bora and going and living in one of those bungalows over the water. It has to be a like relaxation element. Like I need some sort of spa with deep tissue massage, all that. What motivates you to stay positive? Hopes knowing that I'm a human being and this is the best I can do. I'm just a girl. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's, that's all. all that's why you're here to <laughs> give some better advice. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, it's obviously knowing that I'm a child of the living and breathing and wonderful God. That's so um, that's that's really all I need. Um, that alone helps me stay positive when you're in high school like you're worried about stupid stuff like boys in high school like girl drama like stupid stuff like your world is just so small and like as you get older and older you become like a better and better version of yourself and you look more outside of yourself than just in this little circle and so like when I get faced with something challenging I just remember that like this thing is new right now, but like in a certain amount of time, this would just be like any other thing. Like it's not going to phase me as it is phasing me right now. Things always do get better. It is not the end of the world. Not, it's not. Yeah. It's like where you are right now doesn't determine uh, how far you can go, but merely yeah. where you start. Like that type of stuff. <laughs> when in doubt, Look intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> Do not take life too seriously. You will never get out of it alive. Let's commit the perfect pri crime. I'll That's steal your so heart cheesy. and you steal mine. And then there's a picture of a wedge of cheese made in <laughs> The only thing worse than being talked about <laughs> is not being talked about. Because then you're irrelevant. That's funny. The man who says his wife can't take a joke forgets that she took him. <laughs> Next question. Any go-to self-care practices? Mm. This is my shush. Lotion. Lotion your body. The whole thing. <laughs> your feet as well. Because <laughs> some of y'all have rough feet. <laughs> Because <laughs> the fact that people touch my feet, they're like, wow, so soft. I'm like, mm, I feel like my feet aren't that this soft. This is how they should feel. This is how they should feel. <laughs> yeah, like, like, baseline. Like, <laughs> I do nothing extra but lotion them. Well, first thing I do is I play some music, light a candle. I might do a little face mask. Candles. Might do a little something extra in the shower, like a scrub or something. Yeah. Treating yourself to something. I like to eat. Um, I yeah. like desserts. Mm -hmm. Or even eating like something healthy. I feel like that's self care. Like when I drink kombucha, I'm like, this is self care. 
<laughs> doing my eyelashes is self care. Like everyone's always like, I don't know how you like do that all the time. Like you always have lashes on. I'm like, because every time I wake up and I look in the mirror, I'm like, my lashes look so good, and I did that for myself. I wear satin pajamas now. Like, it is. Have you ever put satin pajamas on after you've lotioned and oiled your body? How do you handle stress or challenges? I handle stress. Sometimes I cry. Um, which is good. I have an outlet. Get it out. I'm just yapping. Just can't stop talking. And it feels a lot better. About what I'm... you're stressed about? Or yeah. Just... Okay. yeah. After I've talked it out, and I feel like a lot of my friends are like, solutions oriented people so it it helps a lot yeah well that's the thing too it's like some people want solutions and some people just want someone to listen yeah and i could be either of those people and i'll usually let you know at the beginning yeah (laughs) it won't take long (laughs) i don't need a solution right now okay gotcha (laughs) i pray about it personally use scripture to remind me that i'm blessed in whatever the situation and that god is working all things out for my good absolutely i just can't even talk about it i write it down and then i read it back and i'm like wow you're dramatic and then i feel so much better (laughs) but if i'm really at my wit's end like i just can't it's just like all right we're just gonna let go and let god like if i study for this test and I still don't get it. And it's 3 a.m. Like, we're just going to let go. Question 10. Share a valuable life lesson you've learned. Like, I would hate the feeling of, like, the sense of losing control. Or, like, the uncertainty of a future was, like, the biggest thing. The uncertainty of a future and, like, stressing about what the future is going to be. Um, Because, obviously, you make plans for your life in your head. You think you decide what you think your life is going to end up like and then things can be like very different and change like almost instantly or like your life can just end up going in a different path you know you accept it the better i never thought i would really be going back to school for four plus years which was i originally thought i was going to do with like a phd then i was like i don't want to do that And it was hard. It was really hard for me to leave my program because I was like, this was what I've been planning for for the past four years. Like, I don't really know what else to do. And then, like, once I left it, like, things just got exponentially better. Like, I just began loving what I was doing. And I found the career that was, like, actually for me. And had I not been able to let go of, like, what I thought my future was going to look like, I wouldn't be able to be where I am now. Embrace change. And so, like, now I'm not finishing school and stuff until I'm, like, 27-ish. And in my head, like, originally my plan was, like, I didn't have my first baby at 27. Whoa. That's not happening. And I'm okay with that. I let go of that. Because I was just, like, the math ain't math in. I need time for my career. I need time for just not a child. So. Yeah, let him let go. I've learned, I don't know. I don't think I've learned anything. <laughs> I think I'm relearning them right now, so I don't know if I can speak on it. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes that's, that's, you have to relearn things in different situations. That's true. Yeah. That is so true. That's, it. that's what this whole adulting growing up thing is. Mm-hmm. You're basically learning that, like, you know nothing all over again. <laughs> Everything you thought you knew, you don't know. Yeah. But also, like, don't take yourself for granted. I feel like that that's a big life lesson I've learned. Like, think for yourself. Don't listen to other people. I mean, listen to other people, but, like, also listen to yourself. Like, you're not always, like, wrong. Like, those people who think they're, like, they know everything and they like talk down on people like those are not people that are always right they're just assholes you like doing for fun 
I like to work out. I like to binge whatever my current hyperfixation is. <laughs> What's your current hyperfixation right now? Um, I think I'm like between hyperfixations right now. Okay, she's in a transitional period, y'all. So what do I like to do for fun? Anything for fun. Anything that's No, not you like to shop. Okay, I like to shop. You like to spend money, period. I like to spend money, whatever. I like to have a good time. And sometimes it costs money to get one. Happiness isn't cheap. To travel, I like, like to read. To read, I do like to read. I like to watch a little TV every once in a while. Um, I like to go out to eat. My favorite thing to do is spend time with my friends. They're fun. That's me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, anything's you just gotta make it fun. That yeah. was like the best advice my mom ever gave me. I was like, I was telling her, I hate this. This isn't fun. And she was like, we'll just make it fun. And I was like, at first it was like, but then I was like, okay. She's better. Yeah. Like, why do I have to be miserable? Like, I'm going to have a good time, even if everyone else is lame. So, <laughs> there are considered red flags. I Something that's very telling is how people treat their family members Wait. like obviously you can't know the history but like I feel like a family dynamic and like the way they speak about their family can be very telling mm -hmm. about who they are as a person or how they speak to people helping them like waiters service like other type service things do they even text you back? Because sometimes Whoa, she I resurrected. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like sometimes, like people don't realize, like that's a red flag. Like you ignored me just now through the internet, which is crazy because everyone is always on their phone. So you saw it. <laughs> it just shows poor communication skills. Personally, I don't even care if it's like, oh, I didn't know what to say. We'll say you didn't know what to say. Mm -hmm. You know? Learn to communicate. Use your voice. People who can't communicate. Yeah. People who are not aware of their emotional state mm. and can't identify their emotions. This can go for friends as well. Yeah. Like, if I ask you how you are and the answer is always like I'm fine or like it is what it is like if it's never an actual emotion attached to like when you're not doing well like if I, I can obviously tell you're not doing well and I ask you what's up like what's wrong what's going on and there's never a real emotion attached to it red flag yeah you need to be able to tell how you're feeling and express how you're feeling. Liars. Yeah. It's a red flag. People who lie. No respect for other people's things. Like, people who don't have respect for their own things. Because mm. if you mm. can respect your own stuff, how are you going to respect anybody else's? That is so true. Question 13. Can I come to you once you're a doctor? A hundred percent. Like, come on over. I'm gonna have my own practice. How old are you? I'm. How old are you, Lily? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Because you're older than me. I'm 24. I just turned 24. And I'm so young. 25 days ago. Young. She's 23. She's six six so months younger than me. Exactly young. to the day. Wild and free. Great. Geriatric was crazy. You remember this. <laughs> it's like 24 is basically 25, and then next thing you know, you're 26. You can't be on your parents' insurance anymore. And now you gotta figure all that crap out. Why like, is that everyone's number one problem? Like, once you have to have your own insurance, get a job! <laughs> get a job.
Like, you know what I didn't even know until, like, a week and a half ago? What? Like, obviously, I knew that you had to get off their, like, health insurance, dental insurance, vision insurance, that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even thinking about life insurance. I don't know how it works. That's a low. Question 15. Have you ever been in a relationship? Yes. I've been into... I don't even know. What does... What counts as a relationship? I've been into two... Were you, like, boyfriend and girlfriend? I've been into two boyfriend and girlfriend relationships. One in high school and one in college. I've been in one. Just one in college. Yeah. How many have been that? Yeah, that's all we need to say. Okay. It was a yes or no question. What's your favorite hobby or creative outlet? I like doing YouTube. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> Editing videos is actually, like, fun and, like, Seeing the product of my work, I enjoy. Yeah. I will say that was a um, slight hyperfixation of mine for a second. What? My TikTok lifting videos. Oh, I'm scurvy. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Um, But I just like trying new things. It's hard for me to pick a hobby because I'll like do something like OC for a couple months and then I'll move on to the next thing. But... Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just the thrill of trying new things. Yeah. So like, I'm into crocheting right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually pretty fun. If you don't know how to crochet, you should learn. Also a hyperfixation that I had. She's done everything. <laughs> Honestly, like put it. things in the comments, new things for her to try. Yes. <laughs> yes. Please let me know. Let me know because I'm running out of ideas. Last question. My drum roll. Oh, I disabled my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Our last question is: What's what is your, your dream, dream guy? guy? Ew. Blah. First of all, <laughs> they dream of us. I had to pick description wise. I said this on my um, Instagram private story. I answered some of these on my private story. Um, as close as possible to Michael B. Jordan. And <laughs> no, the, left. the right answer. The right really. answer is as close as possible to Michael B. Jordan and um, Southern Charm. Southern Hospitality. Mm hmm. Just the Southern, like, being a good person and doing nice things. Southern people are good at that. Yeah. I need a man of God. I need a husband that is going to lead me. She going she gonna to so, get you right with the gospel every time, y'all. I am. Because <laughs> like Lily said, I don't know how to call it Southern hospitality type thing, but just chivalrous, mm. I guess is the word. Like, open all my doors, like, walk on the street side, like, I want to have to think about nothing. And you know what, going going you. back to a previous question, that's a red flag. Mm -hmm. If they let you walk on a curb on a street, they're not good for you. They don't care about you. They don't care if you live or die. They don't care if your mom is sad if you live or die. Like, they don't care. Like, chivalrous things, that's new to me. Why is it new to you? Because I did not really experience those things in my past dating experiences. Nobody's opened doors for you? I mean... Sent you flowers? Occasionally, but it wasn't like a regular thing. Mm. Like, I've discovered recently that that can be a regular thing. Like, I never touch a door. They're out there, person to be hardworking. Mm. Like I like to see a passion, a drive, initiative, mm. just a work ethic. Okay. Yeah. Communication obviously is very important. So you have guy friends. I do. Do none of them meet all these like? requirements let me think 
because it's like what is it what's that thing that pushes you over the edge from like i want to be your friend to like i want to be in a romantic relationship with you <sighs> you can't ask me that because i'm currently battling that situation <laughs> 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 i would say no well maybe like one of my guy friends actually meet all of those criteria so then why not like <laughs> ah you mean this is, this is supposed to be a q a <laughs> and i'm <laughs> asking the questions you're answering <laughs> i not i would say mainly because i'm currently focusing on me in my relationship with god okay so when you're done with that like what are you gonna do there's no done with that like you know the marriage mm -hmm. when are you like when do you know like um i just i wait for god to reveal that to me because you can work on yourself forever you can yeah. work on yourself in a marriage yes how are you gonna know you just you just know it's like when people ask the question like how did you know you met the one you just know okay well it's like if it's not a resounding yes, the answer is no. Wow. So that's where we are. Like right now, it's not a resounding yes. Sometimes I feel like it's just never a resounding yes. I don't think so. There's a, an inner gut feeling. There's like a feeling in your heart, whatever. Your heart, your mind, your soul, everything is going to be in agreement that like, this is the person. This For people to tell me like, they're obsessed with you. Yeah. That's how it goes. I Lock like mine obsessed with me too. Lock in for I tweak original, out. That was the original question. You are dream guy. <laughs> obsessed with me. Other than that, like it's like I feel like there's always somebody better. Like yeah. no one's ever gonna be like the perfect person. In my head, I used to have a very what's the word? Descriptive and like specific picture of like who I thought my dream guy would be. Mm. But like over the past couple of years, just through experiences dating people, I've released a lot of what I thought I wanted and just have become more open. And I just have moments that actually are requirements. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I used to have like- In the past, you were more like physical focus. That too, yeah. Yeah. And now you, you've matured and now you're- focus more on like what makes a person a person since becoming single like my first several months of being single mm -hmm. I feel like it was on the physical side because I wasn't actually looking for anything long term it was just like I want to have fun that was more so the vibe but yeah. then once I got over that like the dating just to date it was like okay these are the things that actually matter to me. And people can surprise you. I try not to judge a book by its cover. Like, I don't have a type. It's just like, are you not weird? Sometimes I can't even tell if they're not weird. Because I'm a little weird too. I was about to say. I feel like that's not a fair, <laughs> a fair judgment for you to have. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just like, can we vibe? yeah are you gonna be nice that's the thing too i used to have like this idea of like who i would click well with like personality traits wise mm -hmm. like first impressions of a guy personality wise be like oh we would probably vibe well mm -hmm. and like see this person Oh, we wouldn't vibe well. But then really, I vibed really well with the person I thought I wouldn't. Yeah. I just think in relationships in general, like, the people I usually don't like at first, I end up loving them. Like, it's not like I didn't like you. It was just like, you just had like that face. I was just like, what's wrong with her? Like, <laughs> Like it was like like attacked. nothing was like oh my god like let me go try to be friends with her like it was just like you just had my face that was it. like a growl that was like a growl like if I could like sum it up into a, a term I'm trying to 
I could never be an actress. <laughs> I can't channel it right now. I think I'm also a happier person than I used to be. <laughs> when me and Lily first met, I wouldn't say I was like depressed or an angry or any of those things. Obviously, like I just I wasn't joyful then, so I did not smile often. She wasn't smiling, and that's that's where that's where I, that's where the word growl came from. It was, okay. it, was, it was like you weren't growling, but like it was giving growl. Like she could growl at me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told that a lot. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna be friends with her. Bubbly and girly and like. But she's come over to the dark side. I feel like she's come over to the pink side. Yeah. <laughs> I actually do like pink. I wore pink today. Yeah. She didn't. She used to be like, ugh, pink, ew. Yeah. (laughs) But anyways, that was not the this question. Yeah. But I feel like, I feel like anything revolving like romantic relationship, it has to start in a friendship level. And, you know, making sure you have good friends beside you and everything is kind of like how you are you able to tell, like, okay, can I also pick out a good partner? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, maybe work on your friendships. Like, if you don't have good friends, like, start there. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. So, what's your dream friend? Let me ask you. What's your dream friend? Who cares about guys? What's your dream friend? Because if your goal is marriage, that's got to be your best friend. So you're going to have to see that MF every day. <laughs> I was thinking about that the other day with my parents, actually. I'm like, y'all not talking to each other. We're going to start 30 years this year. That's a long time. Not, it's um, 1 a.m. We're done. I don't even care if this ends on a bad note. Like, we're done. Like, we're tired. 12. Oh! <laughs> Wait, we've got to do the YouTube hand. Mind you, we got home from dinner at like 10. And I was so tired. We were both so tired. Mm-hmm. Lily laid down, but she was just like playing on her phone. That was her nap. I actually had my eyes shut. I closed my when eyes. When she said, Jalasia, do you still want to do it? I was like, <laughs> Um, the first five minutes, my eyes, like, my contacts were so dry. <laughs> Bruh, that's me right now. <laughs> but we've gone on such a tangent. We just like talking. Uh, yeah, we just like to chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's like when the cameras are off. <laughs> Except for we don't talk to you, we talk to each Sorry, other. <laughs> I don't think I've been talking to them. I've only got to we, talking. Since, what time was it? Probably about 1 o'clock when you got back. So going on 12 hours, we've just spent with each other. Mm -hmm. No one else. And we enjoy every moment of it. (laughs) (laughs) Like, there's always conversation. There's endless conversation. But um, I think we should wrap it up. We're done. Thanks for watching my video. Jalaja, are you asleep? She's up. Like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, yeah. That's it. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to sleep. Bye. I told y'all my bedtime was 9 o'clock.